Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I know that many of you that follow me on a regular basis listen to me bemoan the fact that I really hate sewing. So this project might shock you. <laughs> so um, I found an apron that I've seen over and over and over in videos that I really like. And it is a basic rectangle with two straps. Put your head and your arms through it and call it a day. So um, I've watched several videos on it and I went to a lovely, lovely uh, fabric store outside of Waco at, I think it's called Crafters Village. And I bought a yard and a half of 60 inch wide linen. And I had a long discussion with the sales clerk about linen versus cotton versus cotton polyester blend. And being a not so small person and living in Texas where it's hotter than Hades, I decided that I needed a natural fabric that would breathe. Cotton polyester is fine in the winter for me, but in the summer it doesn't work. So I like wearing cotton in the summer because it breathes. So linen also breathes and it's a very sturdy fabric. It's a natural fabric. Um, so, and I've knit with linen too, with lemon, linen fibers and linen is wonderful. So um, I bought this material and I can't show you me sewing it because I don't have a camera close. I mean, I could show you, but all you'll see is the top of the sewing machine and hear me swearing. So <laughs> maybe that's not the appropriate thing for my channel. Um, but I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to put on a couple YouTube videos with the example of the apron that I really like on it. I think someone called it a Japanese apron. I've seen uh, several YouTubers that have this apron and I just love it. I will ins I will put the videos down below that I use as a reference for sewing it. And then you can see how uh, two different ways of people sewing it. So I, um, I'm going to get started. I'll be back and show you the body of it and the straps and that kind of stuff. But I can't show you the actual sewing because really it's, I don't think my sewing machine will, um, I don't think it'll work over here. So I'm going to get started. Okay, so one of the first things you're supposed to do is to cut the material to your size. And since I'm not the same size as other people, mine is cut to what's convenient for me. And then you turn down the raw edge and then turn it over again. And that's what I'm in the process of doing is doing the raw edges. And this is the salvage edge here, which should make it really easy to do and it'll probably be a lot straighter than the stuff I've already I've done. Um, we have this little tabletop ironing board since I, my ironing board is somewhere else right now. This is what I have to use temporarily. So I'm just going to fold this down and it's on the linen setting on the ironing on the iron. I'm just kind of going along and, and um, pressing it and then I'm going to put it on the machine and sew it and it's just one giant rectangle. I'll give you the measurements as soon as I get finished with this because I wrote them down somewhere and I don't have them handy while I got the iron on. I like the linen but it's rather slinky material and it's kind of slippery. I think I saw in the receipt this is Antwerp. Lennon. I don't know what that means, but that's what the receipt said. Alright, I'm almost to the this part here. And then we have to make sure. Oh, did I not fold down the sec oops? I didn't finish the other side. Oh my goodness, I thought I'd already done. Oh I did. Mm, yeah. It was already ironed. All right, so there, that's going to fold over like that on the end. Let me press it good and strong so it stays that way because I have a feeling it's going to be ugly if it doesn't. All right, so now we're going to go back. We're going to turn it again. And again, this is just an eyeball apron. I mean, there's... The only measurements you need to know basically is how wide your material is and 
I had to measure myself. My husband had to help me measure myself so I could make sure I had enough yardage. I bought 60 inch wide material and everybody else I've seen on YouTube has got 45, but I'm a little bit more round than 45. So, <laughs> the 60 inch worked for me. And I cut some off the length or the width of it. And I ended up with cutting eight inches off of it. And this possibly will make one strap. And then I'll cut another one that looks just like it to make the second strap, shoulder straps. And then I have tons of material left over for pockets. So I'm hoping that's the way it's going to go. I'm thinking in my head that's the way it's going to go. Now what actually happens, you know, it's like art. I have one thing in my head and then something else comes out my hands. We shall see. I found a color of kind of a dove gray um, thread to use. It's all cotton thread. And I'm hoping that that will work. And no, I did not pre-wash my fabric because I don't care if it shrinks. Because I, I have enough built in that if it shrinks it shouldn't be an issue. All right, off to the machine I go. Okay, albeit imperfect, <laughs> all the seams are, I mean all the outside edges are sewn. Which side's the right side? Oh, let me do it on the right side. That way it looks nicer. And I think I chose the right color thread because you can barely see where I screwed up. I mean you can barely see the sewing. I don't know folks, this is not my really my thing, but I want an apron so bad that I am willing to suck it up and sew. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so my seams are looking pretty good so far. I don't know how long they'll hold up and under washing, but um, the lady I watched in the video said when you turn them under, be sure when you sew that you sew towards the outside edge here so that it grips it really well. And I'm like, okay. I'm like hanging on every word here. <laughs> and it looks really nice. I'm, I'm surprised. I don't know how straight it is, but when you have the apron on and you're sitting down or you're out in the garden collecting stuff, I don't think any bugs are really going to care or the fruit and vegetables that you're picking are really going to care that your seams aren't straight. And I can already see there's not straight right there. And no one cares. Least of all me, since I am not a sewer. Look at that. Bougie. It's okay. I will probably be sitting around that part or it'll be behind me where no one cares. Now, if I was making clothes, I would be ripping stuff out, but this is just an apron, a Japanese, what do they call it? A Japanese something. Japanese strap apron. I don't know. I've heard it called different things on different videos. But I just love it. And the two materials that I've heard most used for it is a heavy-duty duck cotton and um, a linen. One girl ordered linen off of, Am off of Amazon. Um, I looked at ticking and I really like the ticking but honestly with as uneven as I sew I don't think I want to fool with anything that has a stripe in it right now. I'm not feeling that brave. So I think maybe this is good enough for now. Alright so these are Iron doesn't that, that looks pretty good considering I have no earthly idea what I'm doing. Outstanding. All right, on to the straps. Okay, so I got the straps sewn. They're 22 inches long and 7 inches wide, folded over and sewn. And then the woman turned them inside out on a yardstick, and that took two seconds. What a great method! I don't know how that woman did this or figured out it was better on a yardstick, but I have to tell you, it worked like a charm. So I probably should have pressed my seams open before I turned it around so that they would lay more flat now. See, t see so now I got to turn them right the other way around again. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I got it turned back the other way and 
I think she says she just snips off the corners a tad so it makes them look really nice and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna press the seams although she did not press the seams open but I think I'm going to because I think it'll make my straps look better there's not a whole lot of seam here to press but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway because I think it'll make them lay down flatter when I go to sew on them when they're turned right side out I think it'll be a lot better I'm gonna burn my fingers trying to open these seams because they're so small I thought I was doing really well on the width of the seams but I think I made them too skinny well now see now they're too fat which tells me one thing <laughs> nothing's cut straight nothing sounds straight <laughs> alrighty then okay and then I guess we'll give this a little quick press although when I turned it inside out with the yardstick it worked fine with poking the corners the yardstick helps you to make the corners at a 90 degree angle really well this back this way that way it'll be really nice because I'm gonna have to sew over the the end oh sorry I'm gonna have to sew over the ends to sew it onto the front and back of the apron a lot of these people are making these aprons um, put pockets on them <laughs> but honestly I'm just happy to get this done <laughs> I don't know if I really want to push my luck by making pockets. There's two big pockets on the side and one in the front where your chest is that you could put a cell phone. I don't know if I'm brave enough to try that. <laughs> Probably not. But, you know, kind of scary thinking of me making a pocket. She gives the dimensions, and she makes it X amount of inches long, and then just folds it over and doubles it over. She said that after making so many of these aprons over the years, pockets wear out, and so she wanted to make sure that her pockets, well, that's not too bad, that her pockets would be more sturdy. So she doubled them up like this is doubled up, and then sewed them onto the apron. And they're big, huge pockets. I don't know if I really need that in an art room for pockets to be that big. The main one I want is the one on my chest to hold my cell phone. Um, but that's the only pocket I think I need for now. This is not a garden apron. I'm not wearing this outside in the garden. So I may not put pockets on this one. Man, I have a ton of material left over. Okay, so this is the first one. Let me turn it and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to iron it flat, I hope. I hope that because I did the seams that it will help it lay flatter by ironing the seams on the inside. I'm kind of hoping that it will help me to iron this a lot flatter. Although I'm not sure how that's going to work because it feels kind of bulky. But it's an apron. Don't get anal retentive. Yeah. Okay, let me go back and see if I can pinch it down. Look at the corners. Don't they look pretty good for an amateur? This one's a little bit, I need to, this one's like, boop, that's lovely. But this is the corner where I went around, so it doesn't look as nice as the other side. Let me see if I can kind of roll this over. There we go. I want to iron it right down the seam because then I'm going to go back and sew it. And that way I can catch the... Um, the edges, when I sew down this way, I'll be able to catch whatever the raw edge is underneath it. And hopefully that'll make it lay a lot flatter. Man, I sound like I know what I'm doing. Don't be deceived, please. <laughs> Do not think for one second I have any earthly idea what I'm doing. Okay. Let's see if we can pull that back. I don't suppose it really matters how neat it is, but after I've gone through all the trouble to do this, I ought to make it look halfway decent, right? Okay. All right, let me finish this, and I'll do the second one, and then I'll be okay, back. Okay, so I have done both of the straps. They're 22 inches long, give or take. <laughs> Sorry, give or take. 
and then they're seven inches wide folded over which makes them three and a half give or take and I have one that has more give than take <laughs> so there we go once they're sewn on the apron and it's around my neck I don't think anyone's going to really notice how <clears throat> I mean even they are so now I got to watch the YouTube video to figure out where to put the straps on I know the each strap is put on the right side and the left side of your collarbone and then crisscrossed in the back but I don't know I have to under, understand what to do with the raw edges here for the straps and then um, I need to know what the distance is that you put them on the front and then where you put them on the back I think you put them on the edge on the back but on the front I think maybe you have to figure out what halfway is I'm not sure so I need to check the video so I'll be back okay please ignore the crying dog she wants to go out see dad and I'm not letting her out while he mows all right so as per the instructions fold the apron in half put a pin that marks half then from the half to the beginning of the first one is two inches because she said they will be four inches apart total so it'll be two inches from here and two inches from here is where you put the edge of the strap so you pin on and she said she's not a sewer that her machine is kind of oldish and it was not going to take doubling this up to fold the salvage jet inside and frankly I could care less either so I'll go over it either once or twice to make sure that it stays and now I'm going to put the second strap on if I can find it here we go and she also talked about the part that she wanted next to her neck was not the part that you sewed because it's thicker and it might rub on your neck so do the side that you don't sew that you've ironed closest to your neck so we're gonna do this is this is the side that I ironed this is the side with the seam so let me put this wait a minute if I got this right nope me me okay so I'm gonna take this and she said measure two inches so this is at seven so the end of this goes at nine because that's two inches and then you just pin them on there I have an old I have a two-year-old brother from Walmart so you know mine's not going to take a lot of wear and tear I did change the needle because I'm used to sewing paper with it and I figured that I ought to give it some respect <laughs> and put a new needle in just for fabric and when the fabric parts done so when I'm done sewing fabric I'll take that one out put it away and put the old paper needle back in paper needle back in again because I don't want to ruin another needle alright so there's that I can feel the thickness there and put that in there like that so I'm gonna take these I'm gonna sew these and then I will do the next part I don't want to get too far ahead of her in the video because, like, I forget stuff. So let me go sew this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I did not put pockets on the apron because I really could care less about an art apron having pockets. I may live to regret that decision, but for now, I don't have pockets. Um, and this is the back of the apron because this crisscross, what, what you do is you take these, put them together like that, put your head through here, and when you do that, then your arms come out the side here and the side there. There is no real form to this. It's a very loosey-goosey apron, which I really wanted. So there's the apron. I did not put the front pocket on it yet. She put pockets on, the lady I'm watching put pockets on it in the front, like I think she said two and a half inches down she had a little pocket right here I'm thinking I'm going to I'm going to make a pocket and sew it on there because I want to put my cell phone in there I'm tired of looking around everywhere for my cell phone so at least when I'm in the art room I'll know where it is it's either on the charger or on me so I'm gonna sew a pocket on it and then it'll be finished okay I don't know if I'm going to follow her instructions or not, but I have this little bump out right here. So I'm thinking about just taking this and maybe folding it over a little further and um, using this for the front pocket. So I did test my cell phone. And that's plenty big after I do the seams and everything. 
I think it will be just fine. She doubled her pocket up, so these will be sewn together, and then that will be sewn onto the apron, I think. Let me go watch the video, and then I'll be back when it's finished. <laughs> okay, so if you watch the video that I'm going to put as the first video on how to make the apron, you need to follow the instructions about when to sew the pockets on. The pockets need to be sewn on before the straps are on because of all this stuff going, whoops, all this stuff going crisscrossy while you're trying to get the pocket on. So pockets go on first, then you do the straps. Well, I wasn't going to put a pocket on it, and then I changed my mind. So this is why you follow the instructions. All right, so I made my pocket, and I got it pinned on, and I'm going to sew it. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. And it will not be a sewing video. <laughs> Bye, y'all.